Okie dokie. So we have landed in Britain. Now what do we do? Do we attack or not? I can't use chlorine gas so there. Right, we use a bombardment. Hmm. Well, they're not activated, so that's a shame. Right, well, holding this province for the time being, I really need to make him an army commander so I could just move into London. That would be a bloody beautiful thing. I'm going to uh, increase the size of the uh, German forces on this front. Get more reserves into these areas. Okay. A fucking army commander left in any. For fuck's sake. That's what I'm talking about. It's the most annoying bloody thing. Now we have all these extra troops. Okay. We'll use gas here. This is costing us morale, but it's really worth it. Okay, pull back. This is a problem over here. We just have shit, like lines, or well, supply lines due to the terrain. Ah, new Bulgarian commanders. Pretty good commanders, actually. Okay. Send him to the Romanian armies. Okay, okay. Well, in the turn. Uh, 
Um, yes, we're just trying to expand um, our territory now in France and Belgium. Just trying to force the Entente back while we use... Uh... Well, this is the thing. It's just force them to just move everything and just try and... Oh, God. Okay. Looking forward to seeing what happens in Britain. Really bloody annoying that that army commander, like, fuck. Hmm. Uh. Okay. So, I'm just worried about the huge amounts of, like, Entente forces. I mean, I could bloody beat that army. I really don't think that army in Milan would be a problem. It's just I don't want to have to deal with it. Oh, have you noticed Versailles over there? Just outside Paris? I think I should send some troops there and I occupy the Palace of Versailles. That would be interesting. Is the Paris, uh, well, is the Palace actually in Versailles in Paris? I can't remember. Hmm. I think it's in Versailles. It wouldn't make sense, would it? it? But, uh, you never know. Right, Versailles. It's annoying because it looks like... It, well, the way it's spelled, I would say like Versailles or something like that. But yeah, okay. Uh, Palace of Versailles. Yes, it is in Versailles. Oh, oh. God, the amount of things that you can do while this game like loads is incredible. Here we go. I mean, we might have to go to... Uh, is it Dover? Before I can actually make my army commander an army commander again. <laughs> it's a bloody good thing is the range on that thing. It's just I can't... I'd, maybe I could make somebody else the Grand Headquarters, but I haven't seen anybody else, and that really irritates me. Ah, fucking Serbia, this terrain is just hideous. I need to k uh, well, take control of Canterbury. Well, at least uh, the province itself. I don't know why I already haven't. Okay, well, what we need to do now is we need to try and prevent forces from uh, coming back to Britain. Which is going to be hard, considering Britain's a fucking island. Okay, here we go. Brave man, brave, brave man. Come on, Lemberg. Come on. Ah. Oh, he only took 420 losses, though. Well, about 800 losses, actually. I didn't quite see, but I think the uh, city held. Uh, Rhymes should fall very quickly. To be honest, I might just have to wait for Paris to surrender. They don't have anything in the city, so I would assault it. Well, if that army moves away from Paris, I will assault the city. Right, Lemberg still holds, fantastic. Though the Russians are sending a hell of a lot more men. So I'm going to have to step up my assault or divi uh, divert men to Galicia. Which I probably will have to do, actually. A third army in that area would help stabilize the front. Which is pretty stable. There we go. Oh, sweet. Thank you for the armoured cars. Okay, so we can see a fleet over there. That's a fleet that we do need to sink. Hmm. I've got to land the Austrian forces again, didn't I? In Egypt. Fair enough.
There we go, a nice bombardment. That's quite a lot of men, actually. If we could prevent that from getting back to Britain, that'd be great. Oh, well, look at that. Uh, we lost three ships, but that'll probably fucking, like, transports or some shite. Right, they're coming once more. It's a good thing we're dug in, isn't it? Good. How are we taking that? Well, it's going to be the transports, isn't it? It's got to be the transports that are taking the losses. But again, this was some dreadnoughts. Some dreadnoughts, steel battleships. So fair enough. Fair enough. Pretty powerful catapult. Uh, catty. Oh my god, what am I saying? Capital ships. This is what happens after I record for quite some time. Or if I'm tired, I start talking shit. <laughs> hmm. Okay, here we go. So we know they're going for heavy artillery. Hmm. So we could expect 66. 66, 60, 66, and 41. So about 90,000 troops. Uh, we'll go for a wave assault. That's usually quite a good counter to a lot of those plants. Wait, are they attacking us? Are they attacking... Whoa, I think they're attacking me. Oh, wow. How the fuck was that a German defeat? Fuck off. Well, that's interesting. Ah, we lost our battle. That's going to cost us some national brawl, but... Okay, here we go. Once more. I, I would have deployed differently if I knew they were attacking me. I didn't know they were attacking me. Okay, we'll try mass fire. We should be able to repulse them this time. Oh. Hopefully. There we go, there's a German victory. There's another German victory. Good! We can assault Paris. They've made a swing of the dice. Well, they've made a throw of the do uh, dice. It was an initial success and in their offensive. I can imagine what they were trying to do was cut me off from Paris and just surround those forces. But they've done the best thing for me. I can assault Paris now with uh, no problems. Ah. That's a lot of planes. I must have a shit ton of planes. I must have maybe three, four hundred, possibly five hundred planes in that area. So I'm pretty damn sure I have complete air supremacy there. Fantastic. A battle... well, wait, what? We attacked Belgrade or they attacked us? But we won the battle either way. Ah. Right, they're going to go for Presmol again. Okay. So we have two breaches within Paris. Ah, fuck. No! <laughs> uh. Wilhelm. Fuck it, I'll just give you these troops. Then again, then again. 
It's when they're all in so, well, such close proximity. Weird. Well, no one's active. Well, he's active, actually. So I'll give you these forces. Okay. Eric von Falkenhain. Good, we've taken control over here. Please, 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 please. Back! Ah, wait. <clears throat> Back! <laughs> so close. <laughs> so close. Okay. If you could hold your pre uh, your pre or your please. Am I? <laughs> uh, if we moved here, that'd be one. So we need to move as close as possible. Okay, can we promote anyone? Ah, oh, good, we have more heavy artillery. Come on, Rhymes, Rhymes, Reams. I could send these men over here. 13 days, my arse. Hmm. Well, it's good that we force the French out. Depot here. Okay. I think it's worth it to attack the city. We'll go for an assault. A conservative assault? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good choice, Italy. Good choice. Yeah, with the USA at 45%, that's going to be a long time. Well, 55 So, the thing is, we could basically use our diplomats to try and just keep the USA out of the war permanently. Right, Switzerland is starting to sway towards us. Persia, 67. Afghanistan, 58. Greece is 50-50. The hell? Ah, yes. Hmm. We'll give some concessions. Need new generals, like why the hell not? Okay, we need to do something about these men over here. So we'll go around and we'll wipe them out. Okay, we need to hold on. Need to hold on to what we've got. Do 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 do. 
Sorry. <laughs> Oh dear, sorry. I, I I I need to entertain myself after such a long time. And after so much thinking. So much actually doing shit. <laughs> okay. How are these reskies doing? Well, Britain's in a bad situation. Okay. Need to make this bloody bloke a general. Yeah, well, a proper army commander. Well, the good thing is I can construct a depot here, which is fantastic. It would take 13 days. Okay, I'll just make him an army commander for the time being then. Oh shit, that might be it. No, actually no, he's not in range, is he? Never mind. Okay. I see his fleet. Okay. We'll send them back to Wilhelmshaven. 19 days. What's the weather like? Weather is still good. How is it on the east? Good. Now we're looking on the uh, national morale of the Entente. Right, so Russia is at 79, Western Entente is 85. I mean, if we do take London and Paris, I reckon we could probably knock them out. I mean, let's say, like, well, London's worth 10. Uh, Paris is worth 50. 50. That's massive. Absolutely massive. I mean, there's all the other objectives in uh, Britain as well that we could try and take, and these objectives do. Uh, France, so there's a lot we could do. Ah, uh, you're so low on supplies. Okay. We shall try the assault. Hopefully it will go well. Replace our losses. find some army or force to free up and send that to Britain as well, perhaps, in the future? Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Oh, heavy artillery there. Oh, heavy artillery. Okay, I think we might try a conservative attack here. Perhaps. They would be reinforced from here as well, so that could be a good thing for us. Especially while the weather's good, we need to uh, definitely do things. Okay. Really do need new German generals, that would be lovely, but I guess not. Okay. Not particularly too much else. Okay, you can go within the structure. Good, we force him out of the area. No, no vital objectives. Though this one is quite a powerful objective. If 
Apparently I sent them to the wrong army. Oh my god. Fair enough. Shoal bolts into the city. Oh, to the region. Good! Right, what to do with Hindenburg? Fucking hell has recovered a hell of a lot of strength. Okay, I'll leave him behind, and then at least uh, we have a garrison within the city. Other than that, we are going to go around and just destroy these forces. Make sure we destroy them, and then I can uh, advance. There we go. Need to take control of Poland. Okay, let's see how this goes. If I could get uh, Falkenhain uh, closed. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, so if I can get Falkenhain uh, to the coast, then at least I can make my army, well, my commander in Britain, an actual proper commander, and throw everything at London. That's the only thing that stopped me from attacking London. But at least I'll have a depot built in uh, Canterbury. So at least I'll have something to work from. And land troops. I need to take control of the port, actually. That's the thing. I need to take uh, control of the port somewhere. I could take control of London. If it has a port, I imagine it will do. If anything, it'd be ridiculous if it didn't. Then at least I'll have somewhere to land further forces to... I don't know, subdue the British. But they have pretty much all their troops in uh, France. It's it's interesting as well, with this being uh, late August 1915, you can see that the British numbers are increasing, so if we can try and uh, remove Britain from the game, that would be amazing. I'm hoping that we can take Paris this turn. If we could take Paris this turn, that would be phenomenal. That would be a phenomenal thing to bring the session to a close on. I've got confidence in it. I have a hell of a lot of men in the area around the place. It's just that army uh, nets to Paris that worries me. But even then, it's not full strength, so that should be okay, perhaps. Well, I can pray. Watch it turn out, and it just goes completely and utterly horrifically wrong. Which would be pretty likely, knowing my look. Okay. And while I wait for the turns to tick by, I shall read a dev diary on uh, the Paradox Plaza. About Hearts of Iron 4. Okay. Still waiting. Waiting for the game. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. I don't know what the British did with their fleet. I mean, the Grand Fleet would have made my life hell if I'd had to face that. I would have definitely had to try and uh, lure it into, like, the Kiel area. And the area around Wilhelmshaven. But, yeah. Hmm. Well, there we go. Well, we're dealing with Serbia rapidly now. I mean, they've just been completely flanked. They have nothing to stop me. I mean, the only thing that's stopping me taking Serbia out now, or would have, is just the fact of the terrain. Okay, Lemberg, I know you're going to fall this turn. You've been a good, good companion. 
And the Russians are pressuring me. Okay, the Battle of Paris. So we have a combat uh, strength of 2,432. That's a hell of a lot of men. So there's 113 here. Well, infantry. 94, 38, and 113. So we have a fucking load. And um, we'll go with the static defense line of the massed frontline infantry. Oh, good, they were reinforced. I was really scared, though. Good, a victory. The first. So, that was the hardest part done. So, they uh, will follow up that attack, and hopefully we should be able to force ourselves and take Paris. That army nearby did indeed join, which was my worry. But uh, it's weakened now, so hopefully we'll be able to finish it. I mean, we have a hell of a lot more men than they do in the area, so that's fantastic for us. Okay. Lemberg has definitely stood a hell of a beaten. I could do with buying, well, basically uh, raising funds and increasing my research on infantry and etc. Infantry and artillery and gas would be nice. I like the gas. Good. Right, so we're sailing through the English Channel. Okay, so we can see Lord Kitchener in uh, London. I just need to turn uh, my commander in Britain into a full commander, and then I will be able to get something done. Okay. If I can get my Ottoman army in Egypt. There we go. There we go. Lovely. My god, it only took us like a year. But we finally crossed over. Falkenheim's moving. I'll be fucking. I swear to god, if there's like some kind of like awful morale loss or something, if your grand headquarters commander's like taken. Oh well. Ah, hello. We lost two ships. <clears throat> But our cohesion is pretty low, and this was the Dreadnoughts. Okay. It's fine. I mean, we, we've taken light losses compared to the Entente and the Russians' naval losses. I'm still so proud that we managed to wipe out the Baltic fleet within two turns. That was amazing. In just 30 days, we'd wiped out a fleet that had taken years to build. So much steel sent to the bottom. Okay. Hmm. Ziggurids. Ah, oh, this is Hindenburg. Okay. What would you like to do, Hindenburg? No, that's... They're obsessed with the cavalry breakthrough. I don't understand their obsession with it. It's strange, in my opinion. Right, we'll try the mass fire. That'll do. That'll do, pig. Okay. So as long as we wipe out the Russian forces in Poland, I will be happy. I need another assault on Paris. I don't think the assault in um, army or force is ready again. I don't know. No, Lenberg. What? What? Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, you sweet sons of bitches. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. 200 and something men. Like 255 men remaining. They held against what was that? 16,000 or 160,000? Fucking hell. Ah. Oh. Beautiful. Just beautiful. How does it look as though we'll see another attack on Paris? Nope. That's a shame. Ah oh dear. Well, we'll take it next turn. Morale's taking a hit. Okay, so we have three breaches within Paris. Yeah. Oh, that force was pretty much wiped out then. 
Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so I could do with more men sent to the front. What am I doing here? Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, at least I have this force I can send. Actually, do you want to second send the rest of these? For fuck's sake! Right, the French are over here then, are they? Fucking hell. Have we taken, uh, Reims? Or Reims? I don't think so. Can't see the strength of that force. That's irritating. Like 193 or something? Okay. Oh, yes. Why? Why? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Fucking hell! Mother! Docker! Fuck! Say, come on! Play the bloody game! Fuck me. Okay. Can we at least use gas? No. I suppose we might as well... I need... Ah, fuck it. I need somebody who's active. So we might be able to force our attack. Do we have any other objectives over here? Oh, Calais is an objective. What's in Calais? Not much, only a garrison. Alright, good. Send this force to Brussels to uh, rearm. Well, resupply. Replenish, whatever the fuck you want to say. Okay. Our new uh, German and Austro and Hungarian divisions will be ready soon. Okay. I can't bombard that port any further. I suppose I'll just wait for it to uh, surrender then. Just difficult as it does indeed have a port. Hmm. I need to drive them away. That will be difficult.
Okay, I'm going to send this army here, then we can try and uh, push this army back, perhaps. Okay, they can stay there for the time being. Let's try and rescue Lembo. Might as well try. Maybe we'll succeed. I doubt it, to be honest, but oh well. Oh, we took that supply. Nice. Okay. Finish that force off. And then at least we'll be linked up to Germany. Finish this force off as well. Need to wipe them out. And then with those forces wiped out, uh, basically Poland is... Well, most of Poland. The, the main part of Congress Poland is under the uh, control of the Central Powers. Okay. So, we shot down 16 planes. Another 9. Another 6. Another 13. Another 6. 3. 6. 11, 2, so <laughs> we're basically butchering the, uh, well, Entente's, uh, Air Force. Sorry, that took me a long time, so I was just thinking about something else. Hmm. I'll find the promotable person in the future. I take Calais, I could land the fleet there and then transport uh, Falkenhain over into Britain. Okay. New generals available in Constantinople. I was uh, Italy, 73%. Yep. Basically, GG for the Western Entente in a few turns. 89. So they're doing good on morale, but actually higher than my morale right now, which is really weird considering we're sieging fucking Paris, but oh well. Um, our losses are actually relatively light compared. Yeah, we're doing pretty well on the losses, actually. So I'm going to bring the session here to an end. It's been a long session, actually. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I doubt this will be all up on Friday, the day I recorded. I might do the first part of the session and then do the rest and have that just up on Saturday so I can at least have the day off. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, please do remember to subscribe and share. It really helps me and... Uh, Yep, I would like to see a thousand subscribers this year. So thank you very much, guys, and I hope to see you again in the future. Goodbye.